and God is actually ruling right here. The kingdom is also here because right now there are redeemed kings and priests. You and me, we are all here. And God is ruling through our hearts. The next is that the kingdom operates through redeemed kings and priests. Say redeemed kings and priests. Okay, you and me who are born again. The next other critical thing is that uh, these redeemed kings and priests, they live in submission to what? The law of who? The king. Now, there is no nation without citizens and a process of getting citizenship through a person. There is no nation without it on earth. Moreover, there is no government that functions without a constitution. Have we established the kingdom of God as a royal nation? Have we established that? If the kingdom of God is a royal nation, therefore, it means it must have what? A constitution. Hello? 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 Are you understanding this? And it, beside the constitution, it must also have a way of getting citizenship. How to become a member. Say, so I hear you. All right. Now, having said that, Let's go to the next thing and get something right here. Where is the kingdom of God from? I just quoted this, John 18, 36, 37. Jesus said, my kingdom is not of this world. So the kingdom of God is not from this world, it's from heaven. He says, if it were, my servants would have fought and prevent my arrest by the Jews. But now my kingdom is from another place, say another place. Another place. And Acts 1 verse 10 says, we not another place. He was cut up in Galilee and to heaven by the clouds. He went back to his headquarters, where he came from. And Genesis 1 verse 1 says, He created the heaven and the earth. Say heaven and earth. Mm -hmm. And we have already established, even by Psalm 103 verse 19, that the high heavens, that is where God's throne is established. So his kingdom is from heaven. So in heaven right now, that's the domain where God is actively reigning presently. On earth right now, he is ruling through you and me, manifesting his culture and his intent. The more we submit to him, the more the kingdom character manifests. Praise God. Recall, kingdom means royal administration of a king over a people through his laws. If Jesus is king, it means he has a royal government. Hello? Okay. And what, that's called what? The kingdom of God. As seen in Isaiah 9, verse 67. It's like I raised my case right now. So we've introduced nations to you, and we've established that the kingdom of God is a nation. So right now, we want to know what is a citizen, who is a citizen. Maybe this can be a separate collection. Uh, for the person recording.